Hey guys, Crypto Dad, and today I'm going to show you how to update your Ledger Nano S to the latest firmware, uh, version 1.4.2. So let's get going. Okay, so I had a previous video where I showed you how to update your Ledger Nano S to the latest firmware update from 1.3 up to, or anything below that, up to the latest one, which at the time was 1.4.1. So they have uh, released a new firmware update since then, uh, so it's not quite as involved. So I'm just going to take you through it, not too difficult. Okay, so uh, it's pretty straightforward to update if you're on version 1.4.1 up to uh, 0.2. So if you're anything below that, if you're still running a 1.3 or anything below that, I would uh, invite you to check out uh, my video cards up here. Uh, I'll direct you to that previous video where I explained how to update uh, to the 1.4.1. But uh, I think you could even do that this way as well. This is a pretty straightforward thing. So well, what you want to do is get out your trusty Ledger Nano S, connect it to your computer, and enter your PIN. Okay. And once you've entered your PIN, you'll want to go over here to your Ledger Nano S and go into your, uh, you should have all of your apps here. You'll want to go into your Settings app, all right? Go into Settings, hit both buttons. And that's going to take you into the settings. You'll want to navigate down to device and then firmware. We'll hit both buttons. Take a look at where you are. I'm currently a version 1.4.1. I'm not running the latest version, so I would like to upgrade myself to 1.4.2, which is the current version. Okay, so now that we've uh, established that we need to update the firmware, uh, we can stay in the, we can exit out of settings. So you'll want to go to quit app and hit both buttons and you're back at the home screen here. All right. So uh, all we need to do when you're at the home screen is to uh, launch your browser. You're going to need to use Chrome because this is where all of the apps live. So we go over here to our apps and uh, we need the ledger manager. Okay, if you don't have the ledger manager, then uh, you'll need to go over here to uh, ledger and uh, the ledger apps page and just kind of scroll down here and download the ledger manager. Okay, you're going to need that uh, in order to um, do this update. All right, so we go over here to ledger manager and when we launch the ledger manager all right the first thing it says is that there is a new firmware available so down here a uh, new firmware available all right so i'm going to click on that and there you go see it says firmware version 1.4.2 i can just hit the install button all right and it most likely is going to ask me to uh, verify on the device so I'm going to hit that check mark and let it do its thing. It's probably going to go to processing. Yes. Okay. Ugh. All right. All right. So uh, this is what happens when you're doing videos. Uh, it's telling me that there's uh, too many apps on here and I need to make some room, which kind of surprising because I'm supposed to have Room for 18 with a new firmware. Say la vie. I will do what they ex they say. Now you can just you can delete them all because uh, it does not delete the private keys to take the uh, apps off. And then uh, spoiler alert: when they usually when they do the firmware update, it removes all of the apps anyway. So there's no reason to really pick and choose. Uh, just get rid of uh, whatever you can. All right. So I'm going to take off Bitcoin. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh. Ah, 
Okay, so it won't let me take Bitcoin off if I have other altcoins on. So, See, we learn as we go here, all right? So I know for a fact that uh, I've got Bitcoin Cash on here. So I'll take that guy off. All right. Okay, it didn't ask me to confirm on the device because I just recently confirmed. All right, and let's see, what else? I believe I've got Digibyte on here, so I'm going to delete that one too. Mind you, don't worry, it's not going to delete any crypto that you may have on any of these apps. And then I'm going to take Ethereum off. The big boy. I'm going to take Ethereum off there. All right, and so now there's no Ethereum on there. All right, and let's see if it'll let me take the Litecoin off now. All right, so it did that too. Now, the only one left on here is Bitcoin. I'm going to take that off too. All right, now as you can see, the only app on here is the settings app. So now let's see if it will, is satisfied that there's enough room to run the install. If it tells me there's not enough room, I'm gonna have a breakdown. Okay, uh, it's there. It's not asking me to confirm, it's just doing the processing. Let's keep this up here in the window so you can see what's going on on the ledger while this is going on. Baha! Apparently it's worked! Yay! Alright, so now I need to confirm that. I'm going to confirm that by hitting that. Ah, now it wants my pin again. Sometimes this can be a little scary if you got like 50 grand on here. Which I don't. Alright. So, uh, and then I'm getting the, uh, like, reboot screen. Let's see where we're going here. I'm on the update screen. All right. Um, okay. Let's see. You can see what's going on here. Sorry. There we go. Nice. All right. Just so you'll see what's going on here. And it appears to be uh, cruising along okay. Now there are numerous glitches that can occur when you do these uh, firmware updates. Uh, they don't normally occur, but I'm just aware of them because when they do, uh, my commenters or viewers will let me know. And there's various uh, fixes for all of those. All right, it wants my pin again. All right. Seems strange. Uh, what's it? It seems weird. Come on. There we go. All right. And then this was what? Okay. The numbers are different than they were before. Don't ask me why. Because I don't know. Oh, I see. It's like the last number that I entered. When I enter it, it gives me that number, I guess. Okay, there we go. Now it's installing apps. Press both buttons to continue. All right, install apps on your ledger. Okay, yes. So like I said, uh, the firmware update removes all of your uh, apps. So you're going to need to reinstall them. All right, so uh, let's go over to firmwares, plural, which... Uh, Grammatically, I don't think that would be correct because it's only one ledger. All right, you already have the latest firmware installed, it says. We can even check in settings. Like we did before, we can go into uh, settings, uh, scroll down to device, and then firmware, and hit both buttons, and there we go. 1.4.2. All right. We can... Hmm, Okay. So how do we exit? Okay. Hit both buttons. Go back. Quit app. All right. So um, whatever uh, apps you had on there, you'll probably want to put back on there. All right. 
If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I should see processing on over here. There it goes. See, don't get scared. Don't be scared. That's what I tell my five-year-old all the time. There we go, Bitcoin. All right, uh, I don't believe I had any Bitcoin cash on there. I just had the app on there for something. But I'm gonna put the uh, Digibyte back on there. And once you've uh, confirmed once, I don't think it's gonna ask you there. Uh, let's put Ethereum back on there. We'll need some Ethereum. Do that. I think I might have been in, a way, in the way there. All right, processing. I guess Ethereum's a big one. There we go. And I believe I had some Litecoin on there, wherever Litecoin is. There it is. There it is. Oh, Digibyte's on there. Okay. I think that's all I had. Any crypto in there. If not, I'll find it again. All right, now uh, let's check to see that our crypto is still there. Uh, let's hit the, well, we have to close this app. We have to close it down. And then we'll go to the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin and we will enter into the Bitcoin app on the Ledger. All right, hit both buttons. All right, and as soon as we do that, this comes up. Uh, mine is on SegWit, yours may be on Legacy. Let's see if there's a, if it's a blank wallet. Okay, see there there's the wallet. Uh, there's all the transactions. There's the Bitcoin balance. Uh, everything's where it should be. Uh, now I'm going to exit and I'm going to try. I'm going to check my Ethereum. All right, and we got to exit the Bitcoin app. All right, and then we'll go over here to Ethereum. All right. And I do need to uh, change my settings because I need to have contract uh, browser support uh, to know. All right. And then uh, go into Ethereum here. And there we go. My Ethereum bell. So uh, just uh, when you run these firmware updates, it can be a little scary. It wants you to take all of your apps off. And even if you leave one or two of them on, after it runs the firmware update, you're gonna be presented with just the settings. It's gonna remove all of your apps during the firmware upgrade. So don't panic, just reinstall your apps, go check your balances, and everything will be great, okay? So that's all there is to it. So before I take off, I would like to remind everyone that I do a live stream every Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We call it the Q&A in LA. And uh, I would love to have you join me and uh, throw out some questions, uh, help pass the time with everyone, and uh, look forward to seeing you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you uh, would like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you do so, there's a little bell next to the subscribe button, which will allow you to enable alerts so that you will be alerted whenever I post a new video. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope you have a great day.